Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood against Sheffield Wednesday vlog. Imagine saying that 10 years ago, even 5 years ago. Again, we're getting used to playing these big sides in, you know, a league fixture. You know, your Portsmouth, your Ipswich, your Sunderland, your Sheffield Wednesdays, you know, Boltons, Wiggins, these types of sides. Again, we've got to keep competing with them. We're outside the bottom four on goal difference. I think we need one more point to be sure of staying up. Gillingham have Rotherham at home. We have Bolton away and Morecambe have Sunderland at home. I think Morecambe are safe. Again, Sheffield Wednesday, just outside the playoffs, got some good players. Uh, Lewis Gibson, Peacock Farrell, Lee Gregory, um, you know, Barry Hino. Barry Bannon is one of the best players at this at this level for me. Um, quality, can score goals, can assist goals, cheat code at this level. They're bringing, what, 1,100, 1,200 on a Tuesday night, you know, no trains. If we let them fill our ground, we would, that like they did against MK Dons. Phenomenal fan base. Looking forward to tonight's game. If we can get something, that'll be over the moon. A win keeps Fleetwood Town in League One. A defeat takes it to the last day on goal difference. A draw puts us in true commanding position. We got lucky on Saturday. We need something to end tonight. Come on, the Cods. So we've just arrived here at Fleetwood. Two games to go. 180 minutes away from safety. Now, looking at the table... A win tonight would keep us up with a 15-goal swing. I know Forrest had a 7-goal swing. It's unlikely that would happen. A draw for me keeps us up because I don't think Gillingham beat Rotherham at home. I do think they get a point. I think we need one more point from here and Bolton. Sheffield Wednesday are one of the best sides in the league. They've been poor away from home this year. At home, I think they've got 50 points at home. Really good. They've got some great players. I like Gregory. I like Bannon. Barry Hino, Peacock Farrell, you know, they're very solid, they like to play 3-5-2, you know, the wingers are pretty much wingers and not wing backs, they like to play the right way, but sometimes that can leave them vulnerable, I watched them against Bolton at home, and at times he looked a little bit cagey, but also looked really good expansive when they got on the front foot, they've got, you know, real good support coming today, they're up there with the best in the league, with Ipswich, Portsmouth, Bolton, Sunderland, those types of teams as well. Go into Saturday, level on points or even a point in front. It's in out of control. Great ball. We've got Tom Clark. It's like there's 11 footballers on the pitch, but it's their footballers. How's it not 3 0 already? The football they play, 
How are they only seventh? Go on, Kian! Oh, it's it! Yeah! Again, we just pressed them. Kian has been exceptional. For me, he's the reason why we're 2-1 up. And two moments of quality by Joe Garner. That goal, great header, great leap, great ball in. And then Cam Cam's composure to put it into the corner. I think Kian is only going to play 67 minutes the way he's pressing. There's a long way to go yet. But I tell you what, I'd love it if we beat them.
great at the league, Gregory, is what he goes for to you now for the season. Come on, Claude. Oh, shit. Oh. by the way, one of my favourite strikers in this, in, in this level for what he does, what he did at Millwall. Brilliant finish. His chance scored, but I don't want to wear it right now. <laughs> Nothing more than it hurts. Hurts more than the portals of result. Hurts more than the burden result when we lost. So you went up, we looked in cruise control. Moments of concentration again has cost us, and it could cost us our season. We've got one game to go. They're a good side, but they've been poor today. But they've had three good opportunities. I've got a world-class striker at League One level. People are going off, bolt and we'll send us down. We sent ourselves home. one win in 20 when we don't win this. It's not good enough. Eight wins all season in 45 games. No win in 10 home games. It's not good enough. Just that pause of away, we've sat back. Offered nothing really. And you know, when we sit back here as the quarter that they've got, they're going to score. Simple as that. I did think we'd do it for a change. But habits buy into it and things happen every game of the season. That's what's happened with us conceding these goals and being up. I think we're going to get points, vital points. Again, we've lost three big, big points today. Even a point would have been great. Yeah. They're celebrating over there. That means so much to them. They're in the playoffs. Great three points. Great three goals. The endeavour was there from our lads. But it's a killer. We're level on points going. We're killing them on the last day. Rather than away, away for them. Rather than at home, sorry, away for them. Bottle away, away for us. More for us, Sunderland. From our own hands. Yeah. 